Broken Stable Canine Training here with another daily Have a Stable Dog tip. Today I'm going to talk about something that's going to seem kind of maybe silly, pretty simple, but it's important and a lot of people don't teach this and that's teaching your dog how to go potty on leash. Um, I teach my dogs to go potty on leash. I also teach them to go potty on demand. So what I do is I bring a dog, this is a potty area, um, and I'm going to have the dog on leash and I'm going to tell the dog go potty. If they start to sniff, sniffing of course is fine, but you'll notice a different kind of sniffing. If they're sniffing and starting to like kind of like dig at some rabbit poop or they're sniffing but it's not for the purpose of going potty you should start to be able to read your dog's cues and tell the difference so if they're kind of distracting goofing around i'm going to maybe use a little leash pressure redirect them and just say go potty go potty i'm going to keep repeating that the reason this is important the reason this helps have a stable dog is that your dog's not always going to be able to go potty off leash a lot of us have fenced yards in ground fencing um, our dogs run around and go potty um, without a leash on but then you want to go on a trip and you stop at a rest area and your dog doesn't know how to go potty on a leash you have to go to the vet clinic um, you want to take your dog on a walk downtown uh, there's gonna be lots of scenarios or you go to a training class you need to potty your dog before you go inside there's lots of scenarios where your dog needs to go potty on leash and it's a lot better when they go quickly and efficiently uh, we're not waiting around they're not goofing around running hot laps or jumping on us or playing and not getting down to business so um, I teach them to go on leash and on command. So I'm gonna bring a dog out here that just got here today and I'm gonna kind of demonstrate how I'm starting this with him. I let him sniff, maybe he wants to pee in a tree, maybe in the grass I let them pick, but I'm gonna to start to layer in me asking him to go to the bathroom on command. Okay, here's Niles. I'm just gonna start telling him, go potty. He just got here today, like I mentioned, he doesn't have a lot of leash control, so he might pull on me, but we're not gonna worry about that today. Good boy. And then I'm going to mark it. Good boy. Now he peed right away, which, you know, he's been in the crate for a little bit. So that was easy for me. But a lot of times they'll come out here and they'll be sniffing. Maybe he'd be jumping on me, trying to play. Um, there's some tomatoes on the ground here from our tomato plants. He might be trying to eat those. And I would keep him on task. Go potty. Go potty. I would maybe steer him over to, you know, a plant he might want to be on or a tree. But I'm going to keep him on task until he goes and then as soon as he goes I'm going to mark it with good boy and then we go on to the next thing so it's as easy as that looks easy with him because he had to pee and went right away but work on this with your dogs make sure they will go to the bathroom on a six foot leash on command so you're not waiting you know 10 minutes for your dog to go to the bathroom even five it's a long time time it I want my dogs to go to the bathroom in less than a minute handle their business and then we go on to a training exercise play, a walk, whatever it may be. So there you have it. That's your tip for today, and we'll see you tomorrow.